But I will say we really wanted to do this interview. Yeah. Like we are happy to be really doing this. Oh, so. thank you so much. I, I, I appreciate it. Justine is keeping it clean. Like I, you, you're <laughs> keeping it clean. You've always kept it clean. I can't keep saying it. I know you guys have heard it a lot. So it brings us to my next question. Do you guys get tired of doing interviews? Like do the question. <laughs> do you guys feel pressure from that? And if you guys do, how do you manage and cope with that pressure? So it was like a few days I went to see my mom and she's like raving about you. She was like, you really? have to watch this guy's videos. Yeah. Okay. That's actually how I like found out about you. My mom is like obsessed. She go <laughs> she's going to go crazy when she sees this. She loves you. She's like, he's such a ride or die. She loves <laughs> this question. I do. I'm sure she do you have a lot of time? Like, can we make this <laughs> nah, like, kind of, like I'm 10 keep minutes? It, I'm going to keep it right. short and sweet. <laughs> About Justine. Damn. I'm really here with Justine and Caleb from Love Island. I feel like me brewing Love Island from the UK. You guys are genuinely the best couple to ever come. Uh -uh. To <laughs> like, it's just genuinely speaking, both of you, Love Island history. I don't think there's any other couple that is better from how everything happened, how you guys met, and what we saw, what we maybe didn't see, how you guys have been since the show. Now, one of my questions that I wanted to ask you guys is, Yes, you guys, you know, you feel so much love. Like, there is so much. I know you guys feel it. There's the J-Lib stands and everywhere. Do you guys feel pressure from that? And if you guys do, how do you manage and cope with that pressure? I think the biggest thing for me, I don't know if I could speak for Caleb, but, like, the biggest pressure, like, even though it is a lot of love and thankfully, <laughs> like, very little negativity, right. um, the hardest part is kind of trying to share almost – not every aspect, but a big part of our relationship with the public. So I think for me right now, like that's the biggest thing. Would yeah. you agree? Yeah, I agree. Like it is amazing to come out and have so much love and so many people supporting you um, and really not much negativity at all. But, you know, because our, it's like a, a regular authentic relationship, it's, it seems kind of like, where do we draw the line sometimes as far as just hanging out with each other and then sharing what we're doing? That's the issue. How you yeah. can cope with that in the privacy, and how you can retain that. But everybody wants to know every single little thing about you guys, twenty-four-seven. Yeah. 7 Now, what was <laughs> probably like the most difficult thing about your journey on the show, in terms of Love Island, the concept, being on the show, the cameras? What would you say is the most difficult thing that you find hard, or that you probably wouldn't want to do again? I think one of the tougher things for me was the only people that I, I really got to interact with and get insight from and, and get advice from are the other people there in the villa and you know typically you might rely on your friends or your parents or someone else you trust um, to kind of like work through difficult situations but now you're dropping here you meet all these strangers and you kind of have to like navigate dating in an oddly competitive world but interesting yeah. Mine would probably be like just being mic'd up all the time. Like if we had like maybe like a day off or something. It's on you, you want to just take it off and relax. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Just like cameras. Like we just maybe needed a day a week just yeah, to not nice. be mic'd up or in front of the cameras. But I think that was definitely the hardest part. You guys, I don't, I'm not sure about Kayla, but Justin, you mentioned that you watched Love Island UK or you were a fan yeah. of it. So were there any Islanders or seas like that you liked or that you would like to meet or any Islanders that you watched? So <laughs> many of them. The top three, top five Islanders in the UK version that you like. Uh, like definitely Mike and Priscilla for sure. Right. Um, I love Amber. Right. Um, I'm obsessed with Luke and Shawnee. Like yep. obsessed with them. Yeah. <laughs> they were, was, at the beginning, they didn't really get that you know, reception, you could say, and everything changed for them. And now they were one of the best couples to come. On. Yeah, it was crazy. There's so many of them. Like, I, I think I follow, like, all of them from <laughs> every season. <laughs> right, I've realized Mike, Priscilla, you one day, Amber, they all follow you. Yeah. The kind of support, Leanne, that, that everybody from the UK over to the US is amazing. And yeah. the fact that we have, like, the first black couple to win this flipping show, I feel like <laughs> is genuinely, like, you guys have broken barriers, like, just by being yourselves. Especially, yeah. Caleb, you had conversations about race and how people were portrayed and so forth. We don't see that in the UK. Like, we don't see that with our shows here, especially with Love Island UK. So to see all that was so refreshing and so different. And I can't keep saying it. I know you guys have heard it a lot. So it brings us to my next question. Do you guys get tired of doing interviews? Like, do the question. <laughs> um, every day is like, how are you guys doing? How is Justine and Caleb? <laughs> it's the same. I know it's work, but does it get exhausting? Low-key, I know it does. Uh, yeah, I mean, 
The interviews are kind of a lot, and we do all these interviews, and we've been doing quite a few Q and A's. But I will say, we really wanted to do this interview. Yeah, like we are happy to be really doing this. Oh, thank you so much. I, I, I appreciate it. Justine is keeping it clean. Like I, you, you're <laughs> it clean. You've always kept it clean. I said that once, and I just can't stop saying it. What I mean by that is, I feel like both of you just were yourselves throughout. There was nothing forced. Nothing. Yeah. Needs to try to be this person. Act this way. You both were just yourselves, and that is actually the winning formula. Because Amber was the same way. She just was herself in the competition and she won that show. And then we have the same for you two as well. But like mentally speaking, is it like on, in terms of your mental health, do you guys, have you struggled in any way with winning the show or like being on the show? Or is it like any kind of aspect from that that you like struggled with? Or are you guys like doing okay? Because it can, be, actually, a lot it can be a lot yeah. in your face and you're like, okay, it's a switch. Yeah, um, I feel as far as just like, that aspect coming out and just like having everybody like love on us i feel like that's been amazing that's been like part of the support system i think for me uh the biggest struggle is like adjusting to not seeing caleb every day um and then trying to like yeah trying to figure out how to communicate on the outside and everything so um but no i think my mental health has been amazing good for the most part (laughs) Yeah, both of you look like you're doing great. One thing, because with the UK, when the couples leave the show and so forth, the UK isn't that big as America. Like, it's not that massive. So when you guys go out there, there's a far more of a distance. So I believe you're based in LA, correct, Caleb? Yeah, yeah. And you're based where, Justine? Jersey. Jersey. So, it's not, okay, it's not that massive. Like, I guess it's quite far for you guys, like six, seven hours? <laughs> yes, my flight? No, it's like, it can't, it doesn't Literally be any farther. So far. it's, it's, Wait, like, really? if you were driving, if you were driving, it's probably like, Ain't nobody drive from New Jersey to LA. People drive from New Jersey to LA. No, yeah, no. Right. Okay. That'd be crazy. So probably yeah, that. six, seven hour flight. But then you're looking at three hour time difference too. So it's, that's the issue. You guys are time. Yeah, you're like well, nine, ten hours. So are you guys coping with that well, or did you guys not? Did you guys realize that would be a major issue once you got out of the show? Because you guys were always in the same environment, and then bam, time difference. Bam. bam. I, I think um, so. I actually like really haven't been in LA because so I've been traveling, like spending time with family coming out of the show. Right. Um, I do think that like we, we might have underestimated how challenging it would have been to not be around each other every day, especially after like basically living together. Um, but I think this weekend specifically was very refreshing as far as like being reminded, oh, why? Like, wow, this is this is how amazing things are, you know, um, and long as we can like keep these like little refreshing weekends here and there until we're able to be in the same city, um, we should be good. You guys look good. You guys are <laughs> in the morning. You guys are looking fresh to death. So yeah, I think you mentioned as well, just to me, that your that your parents watched a video of mine or something like that. So how did your parents? What, what were they saying? I was like, that is obvious. Wait, so that's so crazy. I came out and I didn't know like anything. Like I didn't know any of the videos that were coming out, people that were supporting us. I knew nothing. So it was like. A few days I went to see my mom and she's like raving about you. She was like, You really? have to watch this guy's videos. Yeah. Okay. That's actually how I like found out about you. My mom is like obsessed. She go <laughs> she's gonna go crazy when she sees this. She loves you. She's like, he's such a ride or die. But um, yeah, that's literally and then I like added you right away. I followed you. Um, but yeah, so I was like, I, I, gotta- no idea. I had no idea following me. I had like people tweeting saying Justin follow you. Like, Wait, <laughs> what? Let me just quickly let you know, congratulate you. That is a blessing that your mother actually takes the time. Yeah, that my is, mom, she is, loves her some you. That Yo, is, it reminds me of when I went, you what? I would say very similar. I was home the other day. Really? My little, well. brother, wow. my little brother was watching like one of your videos and um, my family was like, something like, yeah, like this guy, um, he's been doing like some really good reviews on the show. And then when we were on live the other day, I kept seeing your name everywhere. everywhere. That was crazy. I didn't expect that, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, that's I just, fine. I just, I, just I just didn't know you guys were live. I typed it in and I just saw everyone say Admiral. I'm like, wait. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready. Like, I was like, scared. <laughs> so lucky that the live just messed up. Blessing. Yeah, I was like, it's okay. It didn't work out anywhere. Yeah, Our connection is, was so bad. Yeah. Better. It reminds me of when I first met you one day at an event. And she had an event going on and somebody taps me on the back of the shoulder. I'm thinking, who is this? And I turn around and it's you one day's mother. And she's like to me, I'm your one day's mom. And then I was like, damn, like, <laughs> like, she was like, thank you so much for supporting my daughter. Like, yeah, I don't re- I guess I don't realize that parents watch it as well. And that yeah. is, like, is amazing. And I feel like both of you two, like I supported you from day one, Justine, when you came to Villa as an OG. I just feel like as a, black woman, as a black woman, as the first black couple, you guys just have set a trend. You guys have broken barriers when it comes to that show. Because we don't see this in Love Island UK. 
but to see it over on the over the pond especially with the plight of what's going on in the us the elections as well everything is crazy so just hats off to you guys like i just can't thank you can't. thank you do you guys have any best moments from the show like a, a, a best moment from the show that just comes to mind and you can't say meeting each other uh helicopter yeah. But yeah, helicopter was super lit. I was uh, like, how did we get so lucky with yeah, this? Yeah, that was, <laughs> helicopter day was lit. Um, I think, like... Matt, wasn't that scary, though? Been on, I would be scared oh, of that. Oh, man, I was scared. I was, she was cool. Right. She was really smooth, but, like, and she's scared to fly. But for some reason, the helicopter was better. Yeah. I was really like, hey, man, this is kind of suspect right now. But it was fun, still. C- coming back from Casa Amor, because um, you... Really, the nerves of, of not knowing what's about to happen to you. Like, are you about to come down there by yourself and your girl's up there standing with another guy or something like that? I mean, it's, it's nerve-wracking. And right. to come down there and just see it was all good was, like, just... The that's biggest. a real nerve. That's, that's make it or break it. Like, that's... The Seriously, yeah. Cause, I mean, you're thinking, like, man, am I about to walk down in front of millions of people and just be totally wrong about my gut feeling? And you get down there, and I saw it myself, and I was just, woo. Same. I literally was telling him last night, I, like, had accepted going home. I was like, yep, I'm about to do this. He's going to come down to the ground. I was like, I should just pack right now like I'm ready. Like, I was content in that moment, but, whoo, look at God. Look at God. Look at, I just can't get there must be a lot of pressure, but you guys must be dealing with it so well. And that, I feel like, is great, because I feel like coming out of the show, your life has changed completely. Mm-hmm. And everything is different around you, especially with COVID and so forth. Are you guys dealing with lockdown well as well? How has COVID been for you guys? Um, since being back? Yeah, since being back. Like, is it just the same as prior? Even even prior to Love Island, how were you guys, like, dealing with lockdown? Like, was everything fine for you guys? Uh, no, I was, like, strictly, like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing nothing. Right, um, one of those ones where you were, like, I ain't doing nothing. I was one of those, yeah. Right, but nothing. good thing, because when they called me, <laughs> they had to, like, test us and everything like that. So, but um, we got, I got personally so used to being in that bubble that when I came back, like, I had to, like, sometimes remind myself to grab my mask because I just forget. <laughs> you know, we didn't, we didn't have to think about that for a while. Um, but yeah, we came back and it's like, oh, back to real life. Yeah. Like this is this is strange adjustment. Yeah, like, we understand why. You know, what I'm saying we're totally on board to be complying with everything that's going on. But it is kind of strange or easy to forget. Like when you literally did not wear a mask, um, except when we we're like entering or, or leaving the villa, it's 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 easy to slip your mind. Yeah, especially like I wasn't really going anywhere or traveling beforehand. Yeah. Right. Uh, but now it's like I want to travel to like see him and stuff. I'm like, ugh. COVID. Yeah. You guys can do that, right? You can travel between states. Yeah. Yeah, we can. That's fine because unfortunately, my best friend passed and he's from LA. So I was trying my hardest to get out to LA, but I also have a Canadian passport as well. So I thought, you know what? Let me try go through Toronto or Canada. But you have to wait 14 days or wait oh, 14 man. days at Mexico City and then come. Like it was just too much to like. Yeah, that's a lot. So we That's had to run through Zoom link funeral. Like it was just so like a dystopia. Like you feel weird just sitting and doing stuff like this as well. Like it doesn't feel it's like a new normal. You just have to adapt. You have yeah. no I mean the situation that you're you were just talking about, like when like I'm sorry to hear that, it's an unfortunate situation. And I'm like sure. things like that, we were completely separated from by being in there. So just coming back and just hearing people's stories and like seeing what's really going on in the world, we're like Dang, okay, maybe being in there for however many days we're in there wasn't that hard after all. You right, know, that's it. Yeah, that's 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 guys. yeah. yeah it, it worked out well for you guys, clearly. I mean, you guys won, I'm sure. So. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla, what was it about Justine? What was it about Justine? I know this is a very repetitive question. What see, was it about Justine that you just thought, this is the one? She loves this question. I do. I'm sure do she you does. have a lot of time? Like, can we make this <laughs> nah, in like I'm 10 keep, minutes? I'm going to keep it right. short and sweet. The thing about Justine was when I got in there and I started to get to know all of the girls, the, the thing that I was looking for was who can I just, who can I pass time with? Like, who can I hang out with? Who can I be with myself and her or her and her friends or her and my friends, you know? And I started to get that vibe from her very early. And that's obviously there's a few other events in there that kind of steered that ship. Right. Um, but that was the main thing. Like someone I can just have conversation with and spend time with. Um, that's a huge thing for me in a relationship. And just seeing what about you? Let, let's flip the question. 
There we go. She never gets asked this. Wait, I answer this all the time. There's, it was a physical attraction. I think from the moment he walked in, I was like looking at him. I was like, okay, he's fine. Um, and then we had our first conversation. I was like, oh, and he can speak. So <laughs> yeah, it was just like the full package for me. <laughs> I heard you saying that you might move to LA, Justine, or you're planning to do that. Yeah, it's yeah, definitely a possibility. The mindset. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is what I mean by pressure. People want you guys to move together. People want you guys. And I feel like you guys are just doing it at your own pace. And that is just the mm-hmm. best thing. Nobody should tell you guys what to do. And it is what it is. I feel that is Caleb, Caleb is big on that. He does not like being told what to do <laughs> at, at all. That's what he like, he like, is... right, Speak on it. Like, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's probably been my biggest. I mean, there are a few challenges associated with, with leading a show. Like, we're, we are we have our own challenges we face as far as like say distance um, or communication like through text or calling which we didn't have to experience when we're in the villa yeah Um, yeah. but having so many people um, opinionated about our relationship or what we do or I like to label this label that yeah or like you know if something happens you know people might overanalyze it Um, you know I really do appreciate these so many people that supported our relationship you know and have like publicly supported it or voted for it when we were on the show like that is beautiful and we appreciate that but sometimes it does become a little bit of a struggle when so many people are um you know emotionally attached to your relationship and like you want to i'm a people pleaser like i want to do what i want to do but i also want to make people happy too so it's kind of it's a tough balance sometimes so then justine are you the opposite then because are you somebody who likes to go with quick pace like I don't know like how would you just like because you said that Caleb is more tuned into that so what would you say is your preference? um yeah I'm definitely the opposite but it's oh, one of those things where I just I can't help it like I'm just like that I, I feel like our, our method right now is she oh, asked for the stars <laughs> like she asked for the stars so I got like I give her the moon you know so we're not quite you know so she'd be like can I see you in three days? I was like, can we talk about them? five? We talk about moons and stars. This interview. Is, <laughs> interview. There's a lot of compromise for sure. <laughs> Would you do the show over again? Mm, you answered this nicely. I, yeah, the other day. I, I, I tell people. It's an interesting question, yeah. I would do it again, but I wouldn't do it a second time. So if I could go back in time knowing what I know now, I would go through the experience again. But right. I wouldn't go do season three or something like that, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you brought Justine, so there's no need Yeah, to... exactly, right? I'm saying I you wouldn't go do it. Up villa, I've just been kidding. What? <laughs> I wouldn't go, like, do it again a second time. <laughs> That's funny. We don't regret how it went at all. Yeah. Justine, you, would, you wouldn't do it again? Literally same. I was like, oh, that's deep. I like that. Right. Um, yeah, just knowing how everything turned out, like, I definitely, I'd live through that again. Was, yeah. Even the downs, they're worth it. I have, like, <laughs> plans for, like, what you guys are doing next, like, in the next couple of years. I know this question is so dumb, but, like, where do you guys see yourself post the villa and stuff? Like, do you have somewhere you want to be in life? Or- uh, married with babies. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How many babies are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, 17, of course. Oh. Someone does like 17, yeah, someone says 17, and then someone might just say three, four, a girl or a boy, and call it a day. There you go. Now you're right on track right there. Right, but she was 17, so. Yeah. I don't know where she's going to get 17. I like from. a big family. I mean, you know that. Yeah, true. Man, bro, we're figuring it out right now. We're figuring it out as we go. And that's, that's the best way to talk about that especially no one yeah. saw COVID coming no one saw this year coming yeah no i guess you guys didn't anticipate winning the show as well but you know no definitely not i thought i was gonna be there i thought i was gonna do a little three-day stint maybe make it a week <laughs> three days <stint>, I'm best. <laughs> and then it just kind of man it just took off it's been awesome though. Yeah. yeah justine you had a little bit of a rocky start so and then you just kind of flipped it and you just kind of like shattered everyone's like anyone's expectations from the just from the first day and you just again you broke barriers like both of you like i just can't keep saying it like i stand you guys so much that you have my full support especially on my team as well it will continue to ride that way hopefully you guys have many blessings many opportunities in life i love the merchandise as well so we'll happily promote that on the channel as well is that going well did you guys like who thought of the merchandise whose idea was this was it yours it's going it's going well but i think there's a lot more left in the tank Oh, time is, it's time it's not quite yet Wait, what are you guys doing with 100k i've just completely forgotten this because you guys get 100k we get 50 i'm well, not we but the islanders here get 50k so the oh that's that, right they split 50k there right yeah. so that's 25. 
Right, that's nothing. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's something. <laughs> <laughs> something, yeah, for sure. I didn't know that, but. but as in, like, you guys get 50 each. Do you guys have plans for, like, what you guys would do with that? Um, so many things. I think we're both trying to just be adults about it, save it. Um, we'll save, yeah. One of yeah, things. maybe use it to travel. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I would say the boring answer and truth is we're going to try to save it and make it last as long as possible. Mm -hmm. But I think also... Thing. You know, we might, you know, invest it in ourselves, possibly. So. That's crazy. In a responsible way. In a responsible way. <laughs> in a responsible way, right. Property yeah. and is, is clever. Yeah. yeah. In a responsible way, maybe a little getaway to Santorini or something like that. Oh, Greece. Yeah. I'm about it. Like, I'm so there. You guys are welcome. Whenever you guys are in London, let me know. Like, what We'll be out there. Yes. I've been wanting to go there, yeah. so we'll yeah, definitely hit you up. This, this interview's been amazing. Let me just do a quick Instagram because, like, I just can't believe. Look who I have. <laughs> We wow. look so crazy right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I've got a filter. We're fine. I've got a filter. It's good. We're good. The <laughs> okay. Don't worry, guys. But Justine's keeping it clean. Wow. And thank you so much for writing for us. Yeah, bro. Thank you. Thank like, you. you're amazing. No worries. Like, you guys, like, when I ride for somebody, like, I ride for them. And I could see genuinity within you guys. You guys were playing up to anything. You were yourselves throughout the entire show. And that is, again, the winning formula. I'm that again, has worked. And I've seen this reviewing the seasons back to back, Love Island, Australia, UK, um, now the US as well. Like I could see that you guys were genuine and I could see that both of you were just not really like looking to fake up to an image or whatever, or trying to rush things. You guys were like, we like each other and we'll see where it goes from here. And we're just gonna take it in our own, in our own right. And I feel like that is what you guys, look at you guys laughing and just the smile. <laughs> it's so cute. Like that is, when I ride for somebody, I ride for them 100 percent you guys got merchandise out let me know i'll promote it you guys got <laughs> out, i'll promote it this like it will just it will never end from my side because i can see that you guys are just being yourselves and that in itself is very rare in this day and age especially when it comes to shows like this it's very rare the conversations you guys were having were so like ridiculously special for so many people for demographics for people they see this stuff and they want to emulate it they want to re you know re reiterate what they see online and what they see in youtube you know to see a, the first black couple to win the show i know you guys get asked this so many times in all your interviews about black couple winning the show and so forth but it's just amazing like it's just such a trendsetter for your own family for, for guys for girls just seeing the first black woman to like do this properly and take it into your stride like it's fucking amazing like yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing, guys. You guys are amazing. You guys have created history in Love Island. Oh, it's so crazy to think about. Bro, I mean, yeah, we, I, I genuinely appreciate that. Yeah. And we genuinely appreciate the support. And, you know, it's, it's kind of a stressful thing to go out there and, and put your life in front of the world. Um, but to come back and see that people are, like, riding for us and, and supporting us, uh, it, it, it means a lot. And, like, it's... It, it helps us out a yeah. ton. I can imagine, guys. I was, we appreciate scared. It. I was scared yeah, I was, coming out. I was, I was like, too. do I was they like me? me? Yeah. Right. Well, you guys obviously won the show, so everybody like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really, it's, it's worked out pretty well for us. Yeah. Like I said, you guys have proper people are your stand. I've seen it online. The love you guys get. I don't think I've seen that for any other couple. Crazy. Yeah, we're seeing that. It's so wild. Hopefully you guys, we'll see you soon. Yeah, Travel definitely. out there. I'm trying to come through. Yeah, if you're in London, let me know. If I'm in LA or New York, New Jersey, then I'll definitely let you guys. Because I'm always in LA, so I'll definitely let you guys. I'll bet. I'm trying to go back to London, man. I was out there for like a, a couple of weeks last year. It was one of the coolest places I've ever been. Oh, really? You've been to London? London's amazing. Yeah. It was um, the weather, incredible. not so much, but apart from that, it's a great. Yo, real quick, that's I, when I was in London a year ago. That was the very first time I heard about Love Island. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. I was out at a club and um this was last year 2019 or the year before 2019 yeah i was out we were like oh you know were you on love island or something like that that's the first time i learned about it and crazy full circle what has happened that's since crazy yeah. you're just hearing about it through word of mouth and yeah. you know, you're winning the damn show that's you can't just predict, that's, you just can't predict life that's why you gotta take yeah. it easily because you don't know what's coming your way yeah day so, by day damn was the process yeah. okay in terms of like the selection and the casting like was that something that was easy for you was it like a long ass oh, situation it was really long but part of it was also because like they had put it on hold because we were supposed to film in may and then they like put everything on hold right. and then they got back in contact with us like a month after that but it was a really long process <laughs> I came in, um, like, I got to Vegas at the same time as everybody else, that, like, as the originals. 
and then I came in on day five, which felt like forever. And then really grand scheme of things, day five is nothing. So it worked out very well. That's a whole different environment and you don't realize it until you're outside and you have to adapt to this new environment. Yeah. Rather than this bubble that you were in and everything. But guys, thanks for the interview. Thanks for taking your time out. It's 8 a.m. in the morning. I don't know how you guys have the time to do this in the morning because I'm not a morning person, so you will never catch me doing this in the morning, but thank you guys. <laughs> I, really I mean, that's why we look like this. Yo, man, thanks for having me. You guys are great. Don't even try it. Try look good. You guys are thank good. Thank you. You look good. But thank you so much. And I'll catch you guys soon, wherever. All right.